Okay, this is the 200 amp. What is it called again? 200 amp uh, rack. Yeah, 200. Rack. Yeah, 200 amp uh, rack that I use for my house. I got it in Kingston uh, store called Narco, and uh, and I'm gonna talk more about it later on at my store at my site. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Hello, YouTube. It's been a while. Today, I like to talk about uh, my electrical uh, service entrance. If you remember one of my first videos that I did, I have a video on grounding and bonding uh, at the beginning uh, of this construction. I had to run this cable at the bottom and I was talking about uh, grounding bonding. I forgot what it was, the guy's name. Uh, basically, it's how to ground when you have a concrete a bedrock. But anyways, I got a, I got service influence installed for me by a local guy. His name is Pierre. He did a great job. This is a 200 service. Uh, so, if you have a cable that is more than three feet long from the meter, right? Three feet long from the meter. Uh, more than three feet long, you have to have a, a switch, a turn off, a cut off switch, which is this one. It's huge, it's expensive. I had to buy it, you know, when it is, I had to buy it when it is COVID and it was very hard to get and it was very expensive. This package, the whole thing in terms of uh, material, it cost me 2000 and then I had to pay the guy uh, 2000 for his serv service, I guess. It's expensive. I, it's not something I can do myself. I can't open it. I want to show you, but oh, something is holding it. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's what it looks like. He put uh, a couple of fuses, a 200 amp fuse. Basically, a 200 amp cable. Two cables with the uh, neutral and ground. It's not tied to anything right now. Uh, it runs through. Runs through. This is. Uh, I couldn't get because of COVID. I couldn't get a hundred amp service. So they put. Uh, sorry, a two hundred amp. I couldn't get two hundred amp service. So they put a temporary hundred amp, hundred amp service. My plan is to put two hundred amp here, and then move a uh, hundred amp for downstairs over there. I have to do that later on, but one of the most important thing I want to talk about that is not on YouTube. I couldn't find any video on this, on this stuff on YouTube, and I said in one of my uh, videos I was going to talk about it. Um, okay, so this, this scaffolding is not really safe right now <laughs> because. Uh, you can see that's the service line that goes all the way up to there. And if I turn around, it goes up. There's a meter here and it goes up all the way. And you can see there that anchor, that piece of anchor up there, right? Uh, it took me about two months of thinking, two months of brainstorming ideas, how I could tie a cable from a power line, okay, to my house. Because I never done this before. You know, I never done a house. I never built a house, let alone electric service. So, uh, I wasn't sure what to do. So I was brainstorming, brainstorming, and I went to, I went to a store to ask him a 200 service amp, um, ampere anchor tools. And they came up with this device, which I have a video of it, me taking a video of it uh, from the store. So this is a very strong, uh, strong one. It, we cut through the two inch ICF. We had it against the concrete in the inside. 
the whole thing, uh, the back of it against the concrete and uh, tied with a bolt inside of the concrete. So it's attached to the concrete, it's not going anywhere. The, these three lines over there were cut. There's a power line over there you can see. So what the company, what the power company is gonna do, they claimed that I don't have a power uh, electric post. There's a rule they have because I don't have electric post on this side of the road. Had I have electric post on this side of the road, I guess they didn't count that one. They would have charged me about $3,000. Uh, the guy said uh, he did this thing and he said uh, because the power uh, company has to put an electric post by their expense uh, they're only going to charge me $80 can you believe it a lot of people are expecting $10,000 uh, because you know if I were to dig through on the ground it would cost me $10,000 so they're going to install a power a power pole over there and then they're gonna run it straight to here, basically. I had to read up uh, the codes and I talked to the guy. It's, it's better that the professional do this for you. Uh, th first of all, there's no way I can climb up here with a ladder. I have some video of me taking them, taking video, some videos that I took of them. Uh, you can see he anchored it right into the concrete. Uh, I would have done it literally differently. I would have tied this uh, one by four, one by six, tied it to the ICF tie, screwed it to the ICF tie, and then uh, strapped the pipe to it. And uh, eventually that would have fallen off. Uh, so a good idea that I hired uh, the guy and he anchored it right to the concrete. It goes through the foam into the concrete, that bolt that you see. Okay, and uh, so this is how power line is installed for an ICF building. Uh, this wall is going to be finished uh, cork, sp cork spray. So, and it's going to be gray too. So, I'm going to wash power wash it first and then cork spray it. So, it's not going to affect it. So, you can see uh, it's not bad. It's not bad look. All right. And that's my deck there. Yeah, this is my power, my power line. Uh, yeah, so also, you know, my progress, I finished the second floor. Uh, you, if you have seen some of my videos, you would have seen a big gap here. We finished it. It took a lot of hard work, myself and my body. Uh, my friend in the uh, Rick, we finished it. Uh, this opening stays open and that's the landing right there. Okay. Yeah, and about uh, a week or so, uh, there are going to be an inspection for service entrance. I had grounding and bonding inspection, and now I'm having service entrance inspection. And then uh, the cool thing about that switch, I don't have to call the power company when I'm working on my house electrical. I just uh, cut off the service to my house by just switching that switch off, and then I can work on electrical stuff no problem but that cost that by itself cost like 300 bucks canadian it's expensive stuff uh, especially with covid right okay and uh, today uh, i'm working on the last pillar for my deck i just took me about two hours to form it i have a video of it right there two hours to, to form that thing. So it's all formed now, I gotta mix up concrete. I'm all by myself today for about two weeks. A lot of the work, little work I'm doing by myself. Um, yeah, so I, I just wanna talk about that electrical stuff. I have a video, of it, a little bit of video of it too that I'm gonna add to. All right, okay, thank you, bye-bye.